Hey everybody and welcome back. Vince here. We have a lot of stuff to do today. Um I I kind of let this part of the field go or this part of my farm go. And we've been focused on the hay field down there for quite some time. But today we're going to go back up to here, work on this one, and hopefully we can push the days by in order to it for us to sell. Sell all the hay that we have down there cuz we have a lot of hay to do. So and today we have to cultivate and plant for this field, this field down here. Let's check out the other field up there if it's ready to harvest. It's not ready to harvest yet, so we just have to work on this field. I gotta do my my mowing strip right here, um, the one that I've been doing. I think we're at five mowings now. Yeah, I think we're at about five mowings. For this little strip. Other than that, oh, we have to go back down to the field down there. We have to bale it all which is going to be a fun job to do. And um, then we got push time to sell. Wait, I'm going to go ahead and jump on this tractor here. Hook up the cultivator so we can start cultivating this field. I'm just going to go ahead and have the, uh, the worker do this field. Um, that way so I can focus on the other field down there on the bottom. Wait, I'm going to get us started here. All right. Time. Um, start working at getting more money or well this is not the money at all this right here is the food for our horses that will make us the money oh i forgot about that too we're gonna have to ride the horses today as well um, that doesn't take that long we only have three horses and they it's only about maybe three to five minutes of riding a day if that so it's really not that bad um it's just it takes a lot not a lot, but it takes uh, it takes the important time of the day to take care of the horses when there's always other stuff for us to do. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna keep going at this. Um, keep missing spots too. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all after a while. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna cultivate it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a power harrow. Um, because I can go ahead and just power harrow it without cultivating. And I kind of figured that out a long time. Uh, I figured that out last stream. Figured that I figured that the heroin is the same thing as cultivating technically. It's just heroin just creates a seabed, or if we do it now with the crops there or the crops double there, it just creates stubble tillage. Um, I honestly, all this time, I think I've been wasting a lot of time double cultivating fields. Anyway, I'm just gonna. Do only this, only the power harrow. And uh, after this, we're gonna jump over to our other tractor. We are going to bring the mower up here, mow our strip. And after that, we will continue on back down to the bottom and we will uh, bale all the food, bale all the hay down there. All right. All right. Let's do mowing number six. Jesus, this takes so. This is a lot of grass on this spot. I can't believe I'm actually doing this with ten mowings. Um. Wow, that is so thick. That is so thick of grass. I honestly don't think that the uh, that the baler might be able to bale this much grass at one time. I really don't. Um, I'm very very interested on seeing if it can but I'm not going to give my hopes up alright I just wanted to bring that mower up here do that last little stripper there for mowing number 6 <laughs> I, w I probably eventually I'm going to do this but do the same thing to the field back there the large field so mow it 10 times and then collect it but now I think we have enough hay there or grass on that one spot right there to collect it to make bale to bale uh, a row. Um, if not, it's going to probably overlap a little bit. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to drop this mower off. I'm going to hook up the wind rower and we have to make pretty rows with our field and then we have to bale it because I forgot I haven't wind rowed it just yet. Let's start the arduous journey of wind rowing. Um, actually, hold on. Nope. Nope. First things first. I forgot. We need to check the sales tab. What is this? A slurry spreader. 
And oh, a tree stump grinder. Ooh. But I was honestly going to look for a bigger wind rower, a bigger, better one. I wanted that one, a $62,000 one, but we cannot afford that. Um, yeah, unfortunately. We can afford this one here. Uh, that is bigger. But for the meantime, right now, we are stuck with this wind rower. And we're just going to have to make it work. So let's get this started up. Let's see how wide, how big of a swath this is going to make. Uh, not too terribly big. Big enough for the baler to handle. It's not that bad. Um, I'm just going to have to spend a lot of time driving up and down. Yeah, so I'm going to keep wind rowing this, making our pretty rows. We're gonna bail it. I have a worker right now on the other field, uh, cultivating it. And after he's get done with that, I'm gonna set him to uh, seeding it for more oats. Um, that way, so we can go ahead and start making more food for our horses for, for uh, future stuff. That way, so they don't starve. Anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking away at this. It's gonna take some time, so I'll see y'all here in a little bit.
Oh man, this one was a uh, hell of a field of bail. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the bailing or if it was a combo of the bailing and the wind rowing. Yeah, this field did take a lot out of me. I have drained my energy. Kind of tired. Uh, got me yawning even too. Jesus. Um, let me unload the bales right here. That's in here. Oh man, I'm about to collect all these too. Jesus. But yeah, there's like another. 550 bales out here on this field um we're about to double our pile over here yeah with the first bit of money one thing i'm definitely going to invest in is definitely the wind rower um wind rower is going to make our wind rowing time and uh, by a third bailing time by a third um collecting time not by a third but maybe half it just for the mere fact that we don't have to make as many passes with the wind row, not as many passes with the baler because it's less wind rows to bail up. Um, yeah, so a bigger wind row is going to affect more aspects of the field work than the other equipment. Ooh, and I just ran ran over my trailer. Wait, I got hook up. Uh, I got to take a break. I got I got to drink something. I need to step outside. I'm, I'm gonna go outside and touch grass. That one was rough, I would say the least. Um, when it comes to the paling and all that. So, anyway, I'm gonna just grab grab a couple of these, and I will uh, just jump to the end. All right. As you can see, it is almost nighttime at 6:45. Um, we did a lot on that field today we did the wind rowing and bailing it i collected about three quarters of the field already um it just got so dark i cannot see anything at all so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to sleep we are um i just cannot see the field even with the lights on the tractor so we're gonna sleep tomorrow and we're gonna pick up the rest of the bales tomorrow and it was a long day though all right let's see where we were it is daytime. It's October now. Um, it is going to rain pretty soon. At some point today, it's going to rain. Um, yeah, I've collected a lot of the field. We just had this little batch over here, probably half a wagon worth. Um, unfortunately, when I was unloading the bales last night, the last trailer, uh, I couldn't see that well, so I placed them and unloaded them. Unloaded them, but the trailer caught it, and I ended up having to end up accidentally ripping the whole stack down. So this is our fourth wagon total uh so far this is our fourth wagon um let's see about and yep there's the uh the lag man we have about two thousand bales here probably no one thousand one thousand bales here that is a lot of bales from two different harvests yeah we just have to go around and pick up the rest of these damn bales because there's just so many of them um the field's coming back nice and green perfect means it's healthy healthy grass all right uh let's see what else yeah other field we have finished planting the other field with the oats that one's good to go oh i did not even look at the top field up there oh it's still not ready to harvest okay oh i forgot to ride the horses yesterday no Damn it, I forgot. Um, there's going to be times where I forget to do stuff. Um, you know, kind of like riding the horses. Um, it's not detrimental. It just means I'm not going to get as much of a profit as soon as it would without riding them. But they still are getting older and they still increase their profit. Anyway, we collect the rest of these and we will see how many we have total. All right, we have finished collecting all the bales we had four full stacks plus this um the 69 stack that leaves us with 681 bales off of this harvest i i like that number that that's good um oh god we're prepared for a, a glitch fest i'm since this is a half stack and oh god there it is come on okay 
There we go. Just throw that all right there. Unload it. Do not blow up. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. That is so many bales in one location. This is that right there is gonna be eight full trips going to the store. Oh, there it goes. Alright. That means we have a grand total of 2,217 bales. Alright, that's a lot of hay. Um we have that little quarter of a trailer's worth of hay of uh, straw over there as well, too. Man, what are we gonna do with all that? Um we still gonna have to wait. We have to wait to sell it because the price is for hay. We yeah, at right here. We're in October. They're going up. We just have to wait three months. January time frame is the time that we want to sell it. Ooh. Okay, so that field is cleaned off. I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna glitch on us if I walk on them. Oop, I cannot get up that way. Here we go. Perfect. This kind of brings back memories of a kid. Of being a kid. Oh, if I grab one and yep, if I grab one, let go. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Anyway, I'm gonna start riding these horses, get these uh daily tasks done. Start off with uh midnight. Okay, let's see here. Come on, midnight, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna get out riding all three of these horses. And after that, sleep some days away, get the time pass in. Probably tomorrow we'll be end up harvesting all the corn. One thing I always forget to do is load the honey up. Um, yeah, I'm never too good at remembering stuff like that. Uh, it's just something I gotta keep remembering every day. Yes. Really, it's not that hard. Do the honey it's just letting this spawn point not get overwhelmed because once you have the cap number it's not gonna let you uh oh, crap there you go flip out go over there you go there we go perfect up, up, up. there we go nice Jesus Christ, we have another one? There we go. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> and we have a half pallet left right there. Um, We only have four more mowings for this grass. God, I cannot wait to see how many bales come out of this. This is going to be so uh, interesting. All right, our corn is ready to harvest. We are in November now. It is going to rain later on today. I want to get this corn harvested real fast before it rains. That way so we can get the maximum yield out of it. So I'm just going to get at this one. Start harvesting away. Um, hopefully we can beat the weather. Hopefully. I do not want to get caught up in that rain. Um, so whenever we get this harvested. We have oats planted in the other field down there. This one here. I'm probably most likely just going to go ahead and plant uh, wheat. Wheat or soy? One of the honestly, I'm thinking about just planting soy in this field here. One is soy can act as the uh, I believe of the grain crop, either grain crop or the protein for the pigs, which will be very beneficial because we don't have much of that anymore. And soy has extremely high sell point. Or we need to plant canola or wheat in this field because we don't have any grain crop left over either for the pigs. So, I'm thinking about the pig's uh, food. So, this field, we just need to harvest something big for them, uh, which will most likely be a grain crop. Anyway, I'll think about that, and I'm just going to harvest this field. I'm not going to time lapse this one. You all seen the harvest too many times on this. Um, don't want to overkill time lapsing. So, I'm going to get this knocked out and uh, yeah, keep going from there. All right, we have finally finished. Um, I can't think of the name of this. Power harrowing. <laughs> Jesus, I, that was tough for my brain to, to uh, say. Uh, done power harrowing. Only thing we have to do now is seed it, but I think this time we are going to seed it with wheat. Because we might end up getting chickens at some point in time. 
On top of it, wheat is a very, very versatile crop. It's not really prof... It is profitable. Technically, it is. It's not the most profitable crop when it comes to selling it raw. So, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a lot of wheat. So, we can use that for uh, animal feed. First, we need to top off the feeder, though. Um, we are a little bit over half. Not terrible. Eventually, we might end up having to buy more seeds, too, because we kind of went through a lot of them. I had about eight bags over here. Now we're down to four seed bags and two fertilizing bags. All right, so feed is full up. Drive up here and get it ready for uh, Satan. All right. I'm just going to put a helper to this one. Um... I don't have an enemy to seed this. I had some stuff to do around the house anyway. I'm going to let the helper go ahead and start seeding this field. I'll only be on standby in case he needs to refill his seeder. Um, in case he gets stuck. Stuff like that. Also, he's just going to do the, the big square in the center. I'm going to do the triangular bits on the top right there. And the bottom down there. But I'm going to let him do the bulk majority of the work. So, I'm going to let him get at that. I'm going to take a break. And I'll see how far he gets on one one load of uh, seed. There it is. I knew it was going to rain sooner, sooner or later. Um, it rained just right as we got done seeding. So I meant to plant wheat. Unfortunately, I forgot to change the selector on the planter. So this whole field now is oats. <laughs> um, did not mean for that to happen. Um... At least the pit, at least the horses will have plenty of food, plenty of food. With the corn out of that harvest, we had what twelve thousand one hundred plus this, so we had about sixteen thousand liters of corn off that field. That's fairly nice, fairly good. Uh, plenty for the pigs to eat, and also enough for us to maybe sell a batch. We'll see how uh, how much we have to sell after a year of uh, feeding the pigs. Because I don't know how much the pigs actually eat over the course of a year. But one good thing is our pig pen was capped out and I decided to sell some. We sold eight pigs. So we made about eight, about $8,000. All right. Um, so that field's planted. This one's still growing. We still gotta wait till January, I think. Let's see, hay in January, yes. So we still have to wait till January. There's nothing for us to do right now. The horses are rode, pigs fed, They're all the animals are taken care of. We are done for the day. Anyway, um, let's see what, oh, hey, one last thing. Uh, let's see what we have here. That cultivator is better than ours. Yeah, or a little, not better, but a little bit, little bit bigger. Um, we're just gonna sleep and see what the next day has to offer. All right, it is December. There's nothing for the fields for us to do. The only thing we have to do is to ride the horses. Uh, pigs are looking good as far as their food goes. Their water, they have enough water. Horses have enough water. They have enough food as well, too. We could give them some oats, just kind of top them off a little bit. But I want to wait. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait until tomorrow to actually feed them to top off the oats. Uh, so what we're going to do is... We, ooh, it is dark outside. I forgot. The game is very accurate. Having late sunrises and early sunsets during the winter time anyway i'll go ahead and ride these beautiful beasts and get them done for the day and i'll sleep until the next time finish riding the horses finish doing everything we need to do december was very slow day or slow month there really was nothing for us to do at all so the last thing we have to do today is sell the hay and that is next month because, yeah, right now we are pretty good, but next month it is more profitable. So we're just going to sleep one more day. I don't know why I'm so laggy. Yeah, every vehicle point, I'm so laggy. All right, let's just sell this first load real fast. Just so we can go ahead and get some money. Man, this is... Why? Why is it like that? Um, this isn't cool. This is not good. 
This is not good at all. Only happened when I fell asleep. And I was wondering why the long load screen. Um. Yeah, this is uh, hurting my eyes and it's hurting my head. Hopefully if I sell some of these bales. Man, it's like drunk driving. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus, this is painful. All right, right there, we're going to sell right there. And we are going to... Me oh, actually, let's check the sales first. January 182. Okay, went up a little bit, but not much. Sell it. Oh, it's taking forever to sell all the hay. Uh oh. We are falling out. Oh, there you go. Come on, oh my god. Why is this such a glitch fest? That was 19,000. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay. Um I'm going to go see if I can't get this uh this laggy lag fest done with and I'm going to load up the rest of the bales and see how well those go. All right. It is so much better. I had to restart the game, completely close out of everything, but there's no more lag, no more glitching, no more anything. Um, all right, so we did lo unload one load. It was about 19,900, I believe. Uh, it was not as much as I wanted it to be, but it's still looking like out of all this hay, we might be getting about $160,000. That is enough to go ahead and invest in larger equipment, to make this whole field job a lot easier so much easier so i'm gonna keep selling this i just gotta constantly drive around it and pick it up because it picks up how it wants to and the lag starts because i'm taking all i'm taking out of these 2200 bales there yeah it doesn't lag unless you start taking or moving or or even touch the bales. If they're here by themselves, they're perfectly fine. But if you break their surface uh, or move them, then it starts doing this. Anyway, I'm gonna start selling and we will look at what we can invest in as far as uh, bigger baling equipment goes. Maybe a round baler. We might be getting a round baler today, quite possibly. Ooh, a round baler with a wrapper. That way so we can make silage and we can make a lot more money. A lot more. Wait, um, yeah, this is going to take me a minute with all this lag. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit tired of doing this. Uh, picking up bales. <laughs> um, we are making a pretty good dent. I still am having a little bit of lag. Oop, operating position. I'm still having a little bit of lag, but not too much. We already sold about four or five. Oh, there it goes. Every once in a while, pick speed up like that, and then it'll just go right back to lag fest. Not sure why it does that, but it's starting to look here. The lag is starting to look a lot better, though. Um, as far as my frame rates, I'm not dropping them everywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm having to make passes. I'm having to like do drive by passes out this stack here. Just the mere fact that every time I gather some off of it, it the other part, the rest of it just collapses and just makes another mess. So, uh, yep, so much fun. It is all so much fun. There you go. Right, so we're getting a little bit better. We're getting a little bit more knocked off. Um, this turn around. Leave no magic trick for y'all. Here we go. No lag and lag. <laughs> See, that right there that collapses just makes it so much worse. And also, crap, the trailer's full, so I can't pick up any more bales. Okay. Off to make another sale. Yeah, we're making about 20500 per sale. 
We had about eight wagons over, worth over there. So, about 160,000. That's not going to be that bad. Um, we still have roughly about three more, maybe three more over there. Two or three more. Uh, yeah, so we had 40,000, roughly 40,000 made 460. So we're going to end up with roughly a total of 200,000 in, in our bank by the end of it. Uh, so let's see here. That would be about 20,700, I think. And... Oh, 19,700. Okay. That one must have had a few shortened bales. Um, because I know that at the very be very end of a harvest, there's always a partial bale. Partial bale. And one bale is about 100 bucks. But this is only two harvests, so that doesn't... It doesn't add up. But... I don't know. Prices did drop, like I was afraid of. I, it, it started off at 182 per thousand, but now we're down to 180 per thousand. We dropped two dollars per thousand liters. Not a big drop, but it did drop indeed. Anyway, um, yeah, this is about. Yeah, that's two more. That's two more wagons worth. Anyway, we got these last bits, and uh, yeah, let's see how much money we're gonna get total. All right, we got this last little bit left this little bit but we also have some straw over there left over from the last harvest of the fields up there so we're gonna pick the rest of these bales up and we're also gonna grab those uh straw bales as well too should be one last full trailer with both of them on it yep the go all right actually no not even a full trailer oh, that's gonna be a partial Uh, I gotta make another drive by too. That's what I like about this wagon is there's a, the range is fairly close. There we go. We picked up every single bale. Jesus, yeah, that's about almost three quarters. It's about two, uh, yeah, about two thirds. Um. Anyway, we sold. We are about to sell the very last bales we have, except for that semi stack by the horses for their feed but we're not selling that because that is horse feed not for not for profit and we are going to uh quickly here look into investing first in a wind rower a very very large wind rower and tether so we can save a lot of time prepping the grass that we cut after that we're going to start looking into uh getting a round baler so we can go ahead and wrap it ten thousand okay so we have 20 Two hundred twenty thousand dollars now. That's awesome. That is out of two harvests. Um. So, ooh, oh. So let's see what we made profit wise on this one. Bales produce. So, oh, we had a total produce of two hundred two thousand two hundred. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's take a look at our finance. Yeah, we made. Um. After a repair build, yeah, I had to repair the tractor. It was getting slow. So we made $171,000 off of two harvests. That's you know, pretty good. Just about $85,000, $86,000 per harvest. Um, it could easily go up a lot more since silage is about three to four times more than hay is. If we did this as a silage field. That eighty eighty five thousand dollars would easily become two hundred thousand, uh, which is our ultimate goal. It is our ultimate goal. But let's look at the sales tab. See what we have on discounted sales. We have a TMR mixer, a tractor. Oh, uh, ooh, that tractor is tempting. That is tempting. It's fast too. Jesus, it's better than our old little tractor. Six R. Oh my God! Yes. Oh. I don't think we're gonna get to see another six R come up on the sales tab though. One hundred forty-two thousand. We're only gonna have eighty thousand left. Uh, let's take a look at all of our stuff first, because that one is what is it? Two hundred eighty horsepower. Ooh. Oh man oh this is too tempting this is too tempting 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do wind rower and that tractor. Yes. We're going to buy the wind rower. Yes. Thank you, sir. And we're also going to buy this 6R. Ooh. That's expensive. We have $16,000 left. <laughs> but since we have the wind rower, we can go ahead and sell this wind rower. And we can sell this tractor too. We can sell both of these because we don't need this little tractor. This little tractor is causing us a lot of money. This tractor costs a lot of money. Every time we do anything in a full day's work, it's like a four and a half thousand dollar repair bill. And I'm not liking that too much. So we're gonna sell both of these. We have a new tractor and a new, new wind rower. Hopefully we'll counterbalance our money a little bit. Man, that was a, uh, that's a big purchase. That was. All right. I know we're not gonna get much. We're not gonna make that much money off of these, but every little dollar counts. Where is, here it is. The tractor we're gonna get. Let's repair it first. Uh, sell. How much? Maybe we shouldn't sell it because we just repaired it and didn't get up to value at all. Okay, sold. Oh, okay, so we're gonna get a lot for this wind rower. 10,000, that's more than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. Now let's take a look at our new tractor. We have back up to $29,000. And I think this is my favorite tractor of the whole game. This is my favorite tractor, the 6R. It is nice to look, high, good acceleration. Let's see what the uh, 32 mile an hour top speed, which is fast. Wrong. I just like it. A sharp turn radius, this is my favorite tractor by far. Um, man, look at the size of this wind rower. <laughs> we are going to make short work of that field. Let's see how wide this is when I sprawl all the way out. Holy crap. Look at that. Okay, yeah, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be big. That's going to be huge. We sold all of the hay we had, which was perfect we bought a new tractor which was a huge thing a hundred forty two thousand dollar tractor and we got our oversized wind rower back there that sprawled out looking like a spider Whew. next thing we have to, next thing on our bucket to do is eventually we want to get a round baler incremental steps is round baling first with a wrapper on it so we can go ahead and make silage after that, but plus we're also going to have to have enough money for the trailer itself. So that's going to be a huge ordeal. Getting the money for the tractor and the trailer is going to be a huge thing. Anyway, I just want to say thank you all so much again for hanging out, watching, and supporting. Uh, do not forget to hit the like button, uh, subscribe, follow. Um, and if you all want to come over and check out a live stream of this, I'm on Twitch. Every recording on YouTube is an edited down version of a live stream. So come on over and hang out with the live stream. All right. Well, anyway, thank you all so much. Uh, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.